welcome back guys to the channel and on this video guys we're gonna talk about the FOMC news that happened just today in accordance with this GBP USD breakdown um, in total now as as we did before in the previous uh, GBP USD breakdown uh, videos and if you haven't watched them then make sure you go and watch them so that you could fully understand this concept of where we started from to where we're heading on the pound USD pair now previously we had these cells in here right that we were targeting this overall order block here and having this low here um this low right here so let me just uh, mark it with a horizontal ray having this low here as our protected low so at that at that time we were basically here in terms of price action it was um it was january um 23rd so we we were selling this for about the whole week right uh up until today where we had um, finished these cells on um, Tuesday, right? And today is Wednesday. So yesterday, which is basically Tuesday, we were um, we had finished these um, these cells in here, which in which the trade number one and also trade number two in here both had hit the take profit target, which was overall this order block right here, which we presented it to be as a bullish order block, in from which price could actually um, consolidate and then give us that white coffee and markup or the confirmation to go bullish from here and target the overall highs now as you can see uh this is in overall what happened um between the days so let me keep this at 20 and very visible right so um we had this push right here into the into the order block and from here price now came up and created this right here um, as our sign of strength which actually took out the previous high which had made this low to show us that this was now a change of character right that the market was now changing its character from a bearish perspective to a bullish perspective now from which from there now we were actually uh good to um to to just wait now to just wait or to trade that counter trade um throughout uh this cells here right so we were looking we were just waiting for the market to make that retracement into this zone right here right that this zone right here to be specific um which is an internal um, order block from which now from here price could now um gain or trigger that momentum to go bullish now this zone right here was um marked from the five minute uh from the five minute chart now as you can see um right here so this is what we had right we had um price come down making this low and from this low now this low triggered the move to make this high so this was uh, essentially a very strong area for uh, consideration in terms of a pullback now of course price does what it does best right price created um this uh this very beautiful form of liquidity as you can see uh, as you can see right here right so all this was liquidity right so price is basically building liquidity on both sides of the market throughout this uh, consolidation and then price comes up takes that liquidity and then instantly comes down right to take um, this sell side liquidity now with price taking the sell side liquidity price comes into our zone taps it and of course liquidates it why because of the news right so this this was uh, basically due to the news right we know uh, what news does news always uh, takes liquidity and you know makes those big pushes of the market right so um, this is the concept in which we call um, absorption right and if you don't know what that is there's basically a video in the playlist that's called absorption and displacement so make sure you go back and watch that video to get the full concept of what absorption is now from this uh, perspective we knew that this zone was more more likely than not to be um liquidated because because of the news and from that liquidation we could now see how price um how the price action could play out see how the candles were closing and manage to position ourselves within uh within that specific um price action now lo and behold so this this right here um this right here was the news time right so this was like um um basically the uh basically the news push right as you can see because the news was at 22 hours o'clock my time so uh price comes in makes that uh up and down move right makes a little bit of an absorption but it's also another uh, form of liquidity creation as you can see right from this line right here there's pretty much basically equal lows here right so from these equal lows you know that there was still liquidity existing here and from this push failing to break price higher we knew that this was just another form of uh, liquidity grab on these highs right here for people who sold um here right so we basically waited for price to play out come down right i was 
either looking at a potential good structural break of this low or a liquidation first of this low right here and then um and then the uh, i mean after this liquidation the mark up to take out the highs and pretty much um that what that's where the entry was now from there uh price so price comes down right takes out the lows and creates this week now from this week uh as you can see so price now steps up with this type of candle right here right which is a what which um which is a basically so-called an engulfing candle right so we can now see that this bullish pressure or bullish momentum within this candle has obviously surpassed the bearish momentum that there is in this market at the moment so what i waited for was this simple pullback so since price uh from here came out and created this high so i was waiting for a pullback to come and mitigate this imbalance in here right so price comes down mitigates that imbalance and from that mitigation of this imbalance there lies my entry right my entry is there my stop loss is just below the low because we know that li liquidity has been taken so there's no there's no reason for price to come down here unless it it actually wants to go bearish now lo and behold that's where uh, the entry lied and of course we were looking to target the overall highs right here which makes this trade uh to have an essential 13 pip uh stop loss with a 164 pip take profit target that equates it to just about 1.62 or estimatedly um a 13 rr trade now this is um this this is it on this video um so far our prediction of um the gbp usd price action has been absolutely magnificent right we've had the buy we've had the sales previously that came into the buy zone and now we have our buys and we're looking to hold these buys towards this high here as a potential um, area for liquidity for liquidity runs in the future now i hope this video was very informative to you and if it was then don't forget to hit that like of course subscribe if you haven't turn the bell button on for notifications and of course guys um stay safe have a nice trading week and peace out